Hello, Life Creators. Welcome back. Um, today, we're going to be discussing how our faith creates our life. We reap what we sow and believe. We receive only that which we give. It's like a boomerang. Our thoughts, our actions, our words, they return to us sooner or later and very accurately. Whatsoever we sow, we shall reap. We have all heard this. The more we know, the more we are responsible for. And if we know this, it's a law of sowing and reaping. If we know this, the more we must be aware of it. Be wise about it. This is a law. It's the law of sowing and reaping. God created us in his image and sees us as perfect. He is our imagination. And he gave us power and dominion. We have only to recognize this and acknowledge it. We have only... We can only be what we believe we are, and we can only have what we can see ourselves as having. We're told that nothing happens really unless it is perceived. You've all heard the story, if a tree falls, well, the question that's been posed, if a tree falls in the forest and no one is there, does it make a sound? Some people say no, because no one was there to process the vibration of it. Man sees first his success or his failure. We see our joy, we see our sadness before it becomes visible to the outer world. We create the scenes in life from our own imagination. It's hard to believe. We say, I wouldn't have created this if it's something we do not want. We say, I wouldn't have created that. Job said, what I have feared has come upon me. Sometimes what we fear for a prolonged time happens. Just like happy things happen if we focus on them and believe they're coming. Jesus said, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. To have freedom from unhappy conditions, we have to have knowledge. We have to know the truth. And it's knowledge of this law. What we plant, we shall reap, that we must acknowledge. If we obey the law, the law will obey us. We have to believe that. There is a consequence corresponding to the vibration we send out. There is an energy, like electricity, that we send out. It will serve us or it will hurt us, depending on what we think. We're not... Only what we eat, we are what we think. There is a law of mind, and we are what we say. Thought and speech. And our feelings bring it all into being. There is a divine pattern. When you want something, ask to have what is yours by divine right. In divine love. In divine timing. And... Ask for what will benefit all concerned. This is the only pattern to work by. You have to direct what you ask for carefully, or you may get what you flippantly say. Idle remarks and comments will produce results. And only command the universe to bring you what is yours by divine right. You may wish for something, but ask for that which is yours by divine right, or it's equivalent Many times you don't get what you asked for, but you get something better. Something better comes. You think you know what's good for you, but it works out that something far better comes. Because that first thing was not meant to be for you, for whatever reason. You can't force things. If something is meant for you, you will get it. If you force and get something by ill will, something gotten under... In an underhanded way, it will be a bad success and it won't bring happiness. We must let infinite intelligence work through us. God's will be done. You've heard that. Have faith and do the right thing as far as you can do it. Trust and don't fear because man attracts what he fears. Let go.
Take your hands off the situation and let God. His arm is not short. I'm sure you've heard that. If it's in the divine plan, it will be. How does it work? We don't know. God has ways we know not of. We have free will. How does it all work? We don't know. But we have faith. Believing and doing the best we can in all we can do. Give thanks. Be grateful. If it's meant to be, give thanks. Bless it. Don't resist. If it's not in the divine plan, bless it. Don't resist it. Give thanks that it's dissolved and something better will come along. You've all heard, be still and know that I am God. Well, life responds to our words, our feelings, and our deeds. So if we have misspoken or done the wrong thing, we have to ask for forgiveness or forgive others if they have hurt us. We have to be giving. That's the word for giving, be before that. Um, to re resolve in harmonious situations, um, we have to be forgiving. It will neutralize them. And it's hard to do. It's hard for me to do. We all have to do this. And it's hard. We can call on the law of forgiveness to rub out our mistakes. We have to forgive others and ask for their forgiveness. Be in consciousness of what you desire. If you want to receive kindness, be kind. If you desire riches, you must be rich. Be that thing. If you want friends, you must be a friendly person. If you want love, you have to be loving. If you want order, you have to be orderly. You know, order is heaven's first law. You can't be happy, rich, prosperous, abundant if you're living in a big mess. Clean and organize your surroundings. We've talking about this on we've spoken about this on other videos about decluttering, de-junking. See what happens. And expect prosperity. Invest your energy, your time, and your money. Keep it ever flowing in a never-ending cycle of increase and return. Invest it. Don't spend it and lose it, but invest it. Hoarding things and money it is like choking off your own breath. It must come in and out to breathe life into it. If you hold things tightly like money, love, your time, your energy, your attention, um, you'll be poor in these things. Invest in your good. Invest and give. You may have seen that when you try to withhold a certain amount of money, or save some some money or you don't want to spend money you will get a bill for that same amount or close to it invest fearlessly and with wisdom all is there for you don't worry about lack or you will attract it and i keep telling myself this also your supply we have to believe our supply is unending it's unfailing it's inexhaustible and it will be there if we trust in it. We have to trust that whatever man needs will be created if we believe it and imagine it. Have faith in it. Say, everything always works out for me. And it does. The Bible says, according to your faith, be it unto you. The unseen becomes seen with faith and a steady vision. Negative images become dissolved. We shall reap good if we keep our faith in that good is coming. If you believe in the law of grace and forgiveness, you'll be free. We'll be free. We have to believe in this. We will receive God's gifts. He will power us. He will pour us a blessing. We're told this, that he says, I will pour you out a blessing. He'll prepare a place for us, a place that we have imagined, um, but we have to go there in our imagination, be there, live there. We have to overcome the exterior world that we see um, and trust that what we want to see is coming. Don't think of sin, of sickness, of death, of wars. Be of good cheer. Control how you feel. 
Look around you. All is well. You are doing all right. You're doing okay. Our subconscious mind will carry out what we tell it. It's like a genie. It takes orders and it doesn't question. We have to believe in our magic presence and we can accomplish everything. It's always there for us, cheering us on, knowing that all is well. It knows all we have been and all that is. So be happy, all is well. If you have found value in this video and what we've discussed, please press the like button and subscribe and answer these questions below. Do you believe that we reap what we sow? Do you know the power of your imagination, your imaging faculty? Do you know how strong it is? What can you see? What can you see for yourself and your loved ones? Do you know yourself? Have you taken the time to discover this? Can you go through your day today and trust that all is well? Everything works out for you? A divine plan is there to create your best life if you only will allow it. Answer below. I'd love to read your comments. See you in the next video.